Hello everyone, my name is Michael from Polygon Island, and today I'm making an update for a tutorial I made over a year ago on how to rig any character very easily using Mixamo and Blender. So, basically what Mixamo is, is a animation site. You can download animations, you can download characters, but you can also upload your own characters and use their auto-rigger to rig it. So it's very handy if you don't feel like rigging or if you don't know how to rig and you just want something very quick or easy. So let's get right in. So all you have to do is you go, just go to the Mixmo website. I'll leave it in the link in the description. Um, and if you already have an Adobe account, you can just log in. If you don't have an Adobe account, you just sign up for free. Um, but I already have an Adobe account, so I'm just going to log in. So once you log in, you'll be at this page or something very similar to this page. And already you can just pick any of these characters that are already here if you want. Um, you can use any of these for your scene. Um, and once you pick your character, you can go to animations. You can search for animations or you can pick a genre to browse from. But they have tons of animations to choose from. These are pre-made animations. You can just put them right in Blender and they'll work. Um, but that's not what we're here for today. What we're here for today is their auto ring feature. So the way to do that is if you go over here to the left or the right side, you'll have some options. Download, send to arrow, and upload character. We're going to use upload character. So just click that. And you can either drag and drop your character file or just select this little select character file. And then just browse to wherever it is saved. So I know the name of my mesh. And so I'm just going to upload it here. It will process your character. One thing that I do need to say though is keep your polygon count for your character under 300,000. Because anything over 300,000 Mixamo can't really handle and it will have a bunch of errors. So make sure your poly count is under 300,000 and make sure there's no um make sure there's no non limbs sticking out so uh make sure your character's a humanoid make sure it doesn't have anything sticking out of them that makes them can get confused on um and if it is then just separate that from the mesh before you put it in here so once it's processed the character you'll see it right here uh you can flip them if you want you can make them do cartwheels that's pretty fun um but uh, for best results, have your character in T pose and fingers spread apart. That's just so it can rig easier. And then just click next. And then once you click next, you'll have this little thing right here, and you'll have all these little lineup sections, I guess. And so just drag and drop them to where they line up on your character. Like chin is obviously chin. Put the wrists on the wrists, uh, elbows on the elbows, and knees on the knees, and groin on his groin, obviously. So make sure these are lined up um, pretty good. Um, if they're not lined up correctly, it'll give you an error telling you to line it up more or it might not rig correctly. And you can just click next. And once you click next, it'll auto rig your character. This can take up to two minutes, like it says over here. So I'll be back when it rigs. So I'm back, that took less than a minute. Um, but the character's rigged now. It'll give you a little test to make sure everything flows smoothly. It'll give you a little animation right here. Uh, make sure everything's okay. Make sure there's no weird stuff happening with his limbs or anything. And once you've confirmed that everything's okay, okay, you can just click next. And it'll put your character in Mixamo. And so if you wanted to, you could just pick an animation. Um, and it'll uh, give an animation. But if you don't want to do that, just close out of the animation and click download. And so you can choose what format you want and what pose you want. Uh, I'm going to choose original pose and I'm going to click download. And so once it prepares the download, it'll start downloading. And I can just save the file and find where it was saved at. It was saved in my main drive. So now we can go in a blender and we can actually put this guy in a blender. So how we do this is we go to file up here in the top left and go down to import. And then whatever file you saved it as, you probably saved it as an FBX. Uh, just click whatever file type you saved it as and go to wherever you um, saved them to. And just click him and import him. He's going to be really small at first. Um, pretty much any Mixamo character is going to be really small. But everything should be selected. And just click S on your keyboard. And just drag your mouse out to scale him up. Uh, one thing, if you ever try to move this character, make sure you selected the armature and not the group 1. Because what will happen is you'll just move him completely out of the armature. Um, also, if you just try to like grab him like this. Or just move him completely out of the armature. And then just make sure you grab the actual armature. So once we have him here, um, he's rigged and everything. If we go in a wireframe view, uh, you can see that he does have his bones all laid out and stuff for him. Uh, the only thing he didn't really rig was his toes, uh, but his fingers and everything are rigged. He has 
the bones for everything. So now how to rig a or how to actually pose the character. So with the armature selected, make sure the bones are selected. There should be highlighted orange. Go up here to the top left where it says object mode and go down to pose mode. So once you're in pose mode, you can go into wireframe or if you're if you just know where the bones are, you can select individual bones. And then you can use like any tool really to just like move them. Uh, so we can just move them like this. Do this. And then kind of move his arm up like that. That looks unnatural, so we're not going to do that. Uh, but just kind of move his arms. Or just pose them however you want. Um, if you're making an animation, obviously, like just pose them however. But I'm just going to do like a very weird quick pose right here just to show you. Um, oh. Okay, so once you have them posed, uh, what might happen sometimes is if you like go into edit mode or do anything that like disturbs the mesh, it'll snap back to its original T-pose. So to prevent that from happening, it usually happens when you're using an animation, but it can sometimes happen when you're just using the actual rig. To prevent, prevent that from happening, select the armature, make sure the bones are highlighted orange, hit A, or not A, or go... Go into pose mode first. So once you're in pose mode um, and you have a bone selected or whatever, hit A to make sure all the bones are highlighted blue. You can verify by going to wireframe. Just make sure all the bones are highlighted blue. And then click I on your keyboard and this will give you a keyframe menu. And just go down here to location, rotation, and scale and click that. That'll basically make a keyframe down here at the bottom left. You see that little yellow diamond looking thing. That is just keyframing the position of the character. It's basically locking him in to where he's like that. So you can see I can go to edit mode. Edit mode, he taps back into the T-pose, but if I go back out of edit mode, he goes back to his original pose. So, yeah, that's basically that. That's how you auto-rig a character um, in Blender, and that's how you use Mixamo with Blender. Uh, you can do this to really any humanoid shape. Um, if we go back on Mixamo, you can see that they have a ton of, like, characters. You have, like, this, like, ogre thing, I guess. Uh, like, this thing, um, an actual human and just different things you even have whatever this guy is right here um but yeah as long as your character resembles a human and has uses a human skeleton like even this character is drastically different than a human but you can see he would have a head bone arm bones finger bones and stuff as long as your character resembles a human then you should be fine um any questions leave them in the comments i'll be happy to answer them thanks guys so much for watching my name is michael from polygon island and i'll see you guys next time bye